when you were my age, a, a university student, and trying to put together some serious money, the factory floor was still the best place to, to make some serious cash. So I made my way across town to J.M. Schneider's meat processing <laughs> plant. And they decided to take a chance on me in the poultry division. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was delighted. I, I mean, uh, plucking turkeys sounded a whole lot safer than working with live wires. And I mean, you know, the, the chicken is actually dead. So what, you know, what could really happen? Right? Yeah, and, and, and at first it seemed easy enough because the job was really just to, to sort the chicken pieces, so you had to sort a leg, breast, thigh, leg, breast, thigh groupings before some um, frozen food dinner thing that they were making at that point in time. And uh, so, you know, I thought, well, I, I recognize leg, breast, thigh, I, I, I can definitely do this. But then they take you out onto the actual factory floor and you see that the chicken pieces are all being cooked in some giant cauldron cooker thing way up high and then all of a sudden an alarm sounds and then well the pieces come out all jumbled together and so like they're all spilling out onto this conveyor belt which is then then they're all thundering toward you on this conveyor belt and then they get to you and you're all Leg breast thigh, leg breast thigh, leg breast thigh, and then, they're, and then they're traveling along past you, and they're on their way into the, the wide open, gaping mouth of a flash freezer. And of course, my position was the closest one to the flash freezer. So, all my colleagues up here on the line while well, they are sweltering in the heat of the cookers and the steam and all that. But oh, I have to wear a ski jacket because there is so much cold air bellowing out of the mouth of this freezer that I could literally freeze my upper arm. Except this side of me is still hot from the cooker. So I have to go like leg breast thigh, leg breast thigh, but then I'm also going like look, in between doing this, I'm doing this. So that's kind of how my days are going to try to keep everything moderated. And then at one point, one day, somehow the tab of my zipper became caught in the metallic mesh of the conveyor belt. And the next thing you know, I'm being pulled along toward the flash freezer. And I'm still trying to do my like leg breast thigh, like I said, but I'm now trying to pull back on this stupid thing, and it will not come. And so when I, now I give up on my leg breast thigh, and I'm just pulling and pulling, and nothing is happening, and now people are starting to scream things at me, and they're running alongside, because I'm getting really close. And, you know, I had no time, I had no time did it occur to me to simply like remove my jacket and let it proceed into the trash cleaner. No, because we're not all equally suited to that. So, so, no, that didn't occur to me. But the, the good news is, truthfully, that being flash frozen hurt less than being electrocuted. <laughs> Because my foreman had the good sense to hit the panic button and stop the entire line.